Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods. Um, okay, first off, that last video, I don't know what to tell you. You get what you get. Um, but I figured I'd put it up to let you know what happened with it rather than just not filming at all uh, for the Hyper Mach 10, uh, 100. Still waiting to hear back from Goodwill. Uh, I unscrewed all the screws, got them all out except for one. One of them is actually in there. It looks like there's a screw in there that's not supposed to be there. Um, all the screws in the blaster are black except for one silver one. And whoever put that in, you can't open the blaster. So I don't know what to do. So I'm thinking I just give it back to Goodwill and they give me my money. I don't know. Um, but in regards to that, I thought I should put out another video tonight to make up for that. And here we have the uh, Star Nerf Star Wars Glow Strike um, First Order Stormtrooper um, Blaster. Um, I saw that uh, somebody had this new in box. Um, it has a little wear here, but that's fine. I think it's just from age. Um, but it's new in box, and you can even test it. Still has batteries for that. Um, it does require four double A's, so we will be testing that, of course. Um, but yeah, let's get the let's get this out of the uh, box here. I think I picked this up for twenty bucks uh, from somebody off of offer up. Uh, what day was that? Saturday night, Sunday night, one or two. Probably figured it was this is a good deal for a new in box blaster. We have the instructions, of course. And I believe, I'm not positive, but I believe this works kind of like a Raven, uh, in the sense that you load the magazine in the back. There we go. Okay, let's see, which part do we get to first? This, get the magazine out. It's just a regular 12 round it looks like. Got some accessories here. I believe this is the stock. So I'm guessing this blaster came out when um, Let's see, first order. Uh, that's probably uh, Force Awakens, I want to say, when that came out. So I want to say this came out around that time. Pretty positive. Let's see, that's tied in by that. Get the main blaster out here. Put that to the side for now. Take this little guy out. Take this thing out. And the rest of this is in with just cardboard, I believe, in the back here. Yeah, cardboard and tape. There's that, I believe that's the Magwell. Piece up here. Oh, that's the barrel. And then last part is the darts, of course. There we go. This is just extra cardboard, which we don't need. So let's see what we got here. There's a little bit of dust wear on this, but it's fine. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. So let's see here. Without looking at the instructions, I'm gonna say this goes on the back like so. Right? Like so. And once it's in there, that's in there. Um, it's probably being held in by tabs, so if you ever want to do get it out, probably have to undo the blaster to get in there. 
Um, let's see, Magwell probably only gonna go on one way, and it looks like this way. I have to put this down. Oop. Just like that, that's not gonna come out. And this guy is gonna go on the front here. Is it twisting? How's this work? Oh, there's notches there. There we go, you got your orange tip. Now you're safe. Ew, okay, I see. So, magazine goes in the side, or if you want to spare it, you can actually hold it in here. I'm guessing like so. Yep, so that holds that. Okay, let me just bust that out. Now this has a rev trigger and a firing trigger, so it is motorized. Uh, let's see where the batteries go. I'm going to guess right there. Oh, let me flip this. This looks like a battery door right in the front here. I do believe I am correct. Oh, this battery's in there. I wonder. Oh. Let's see. It's not that the batteries are in there, but I'm going to use my own. Because that sounds kind of weak. So, to get the best performance out of any stock Nerf blaster, we are going to use our cool look batteries. These are nice for, you know, the test and store, but they're not going to give you what you really want. So this is essentially, let's see, what would this be? Because it's kind of like a modulus with the magazine out of the side, um, but the flywheels are up here. Hmm, I don't know what you call this or what it would be close to. I thought it was Raven because the back there, but that's not it. Um, hmm. You guys probably know. Let me know down below what I'm trying to think of. It's probably one of the blasts that we've heard of before. Oh. So you do have to have the magazine in to test. That sounds a lot better. Let's put the door on. Seal that back up. And these are the uh, these are the glow in the strike uh, darts again. I'm gonna go ahead and save them. We'll load some darts in the magazine here and uh, test it. And then this thing that goes on here, I believe. There it goes. It snaps on it. It changes positions, which is kind of nice. We'll leave it like that. Uh, let me go get some darts and we'll fill this guy up. All right, guys. I filled up the magazine. I'm using the um, these uh, watermelon darts from, I believe, what, Dart Zone? Um, I forget what this goes to. Um, but yeah, they're in here. So, let's load this puppy up, just like so. Uh, I'm going to stand back far a few, and then we'll get some chronograph rings as well. See what we get out of this thing. See if it's worth keeping, or see if it's worth uh, pass on to somebody that is infatuated with Star Wars. I mean, I love Star Wars, but, you know. Not bad, but not great. Um, I figure it's probably gonna be firing at 65 FPS just by looking at it. But the um, the hardest part is, is when you're firing this, the grip, it's a very small rev button and your finger is locked in kind of right here. So it's mostly made for a, made, um, for a kid, so I probably will pass this on just because my hand's too big for this thing. Um, but let's get some chronograph rings out this while we have it. Actually, let me check the magazine. 
Okay, so we got four darts. All right. 89.4, 81.2, so average about 90 uh, with the cool look batteries. So not bad, but again, it's about uh, comfortability. Um, for a small kid, definitely. Uh, for me, not so much. Um, so when I do, uh, when I sell my blasts, some, not, my, not all my blasters, when I go ahead and get a pile of blasters to sell for the holidays, I will probably be selling this one. Um, just because my hand's too big for this awkward thing. It's I, 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 like an eight year old will love this. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on this. I'll sell it with the original darts, of course, because I don't need those if I don't have the glow thing in here. Because this does light those up and fire them in the dark, which is a cool gimmick. Um, but other than that, that's the blaster, guys. Any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I will try to answer them as much as possible. Uh, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye, guys.